Hello and welcome to another weekly market update. It's uh, after the market closed on the 13th of July. So here's where we look at the uh, overall stock market, particularly the S&P 500 in the US, which is kind of like a benchmark for everything else. Yeah, first in the short term and in the long term, because that affects your individual trades if you're doing short term trading. In the long term, you know, the, the bigger things, you know, the economy, the, the uh, your pension plan, where the next financial crisis is going to come from and when, more importantly. So this is a, a long-term chart you can see at the bottom there over several years, week by week, up and down. Uh, each one up and down little peg here is a week of action and it's averaged out for us by these lines here which is the 10 week moving average and the 40 week moving average. Uh, and you can see here that uh, these averages have been pointing up and the market has stayed above that key average, the red one there, which is really what you're looking for in a bull market. And a bull market is what my proprietary system declared back in 7th November 2016 and has not yet said that it's not a bull market, despite this recent patch of uh, volatility here, which is really just a correction after this blow off up here. And in fact, uh, this last week, as I said last time, uh, has really popped up nicely and the uptrend's definitely intact. It broke above this period of this area of resistance here, 2780. It's a really bullish picture now. This is, as I've been saying for a long time now, a bull market and it's staying a bull market for now. Shorter term, here we can see um, this is really what I was looking for. Where's that patch of resistance there at 2780 and it broke above that. Um, so I'm expecting a, fur, a, a further upside this week and it can hold that level about 2780. That'd be really bullish. And then the next thing you know, it won't be long before we get out to new highs and put this uh, big old volatility patch behind us as the bull market powers on. So everything is up and I'll speak to you next time.